All right, we're gonna be uh, watching this match here between uh, Jack Marish and uh, Jack Williams. Uh, this should be the uh, I think the quarterfinal, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Here, got a little surprised on the whole uh, thing. So, yep, quarterfinals. So uh, it's gonna be an important step into figuring out uh, who's gonna be getting to these mental matches eventually. Uh, we might do a little bit of camera adjusting here, though. See if we can't get a better, uh, better view. So we're gonna we're gonna move in a in a moment here. Probably when they head down to the target. A little close up of Jack. Boom! Shot right before that gust of wind. Let's see. Ooh, it is, it is blowing through here now. Look at that. Whew. All right, we'll take a look at Jackson. Boom. All right. All right, so Jackson's got all his arrows down there. Jack is still, uh, still shooting. See, uh, see what it looks like. Oh, we're gonna have to move. All right, we are we are back. Hopefully, this is a little bit better of a uh, viewing angle. See, we got maybe a ten, uh, yeah, one ten, a nine, and an eight. That's Jack's target, and it looks like Jackson's probably got three nines or a uh, ten and two nines. Jackson looks like he might uh, take this match here. So uh, this is gonna be a pretty nice setup. We might still move the camera a little bit more. We're gonna see what it looks like, but. Um, we should be in a pretty good viewing position for uh, this match. Flags are blowing in the background. The short shot archery target flags up there are, are doing some major work. Um, the, the scores down below here are actually from uh, the previous matches. So we'll get them updated more. Hopefully they, they zero out uh, some of the extra ones because now we've moved to everybody having their own individual targets. The previous uh, round, when we were in the uh, the one eighth rounds, everybody was uh, still sharing a target. So let's see let's see how these quarterfinals go. See, it's still a, a decent amount of spectators here. Uh, Fair amount of people have left though. Yeah, the weather's not exactly uh, great, so they're not uh, inclined to stick around after they get knocked out. See them flip some flipboards after they pull. All right, I'm I'm taking it that Jackson won this round because Jack did not move his flipboards and let's see. Yep, yep. Two set points for Jackson. So Jack's got some work to do. Well, this is <laughs> starting to look like uh, Jackson's match between Brady, where. Uh, Jackson just keeps uh, getting more and more uh, set points, keeps winning more and more matches, and then wins the whole thing. So uh, Jack's gonna have to put some pressure on him. Now, in terms of uh, rankings uh, in this, uh, when are my screen updates here? So uh, Jackson actually qualified in 16th. Uh, Jack qualified in ninth, but Jackson actually 
you know, comes from uh, Arizona. He's, I believe he's in the Phoenix area. So uh, this is this is home territory. He's, he's defending his home territory here. So uh, pretty pretty sweet. We're gonna see how this match goes. But uh, I'm sure Jack is is ready to put some points uh, on some set points on the scoreboard here. We'll see what he can do. The wind's really, really blowing good. Pretty wild. Alright, we may still have uh, some announcing going on uh, for uh, these videos in future matches, especially when we get closer to doing the bronze, but right now you're, you're stuck with me. <laughs> Alright, they're both back up on the line. Let's see, you can see the wind blowing in the background. We'll leave this one nice and wide so you guys can kind of get a, a feel of what these archers are dealing with. Ooh, it's a bit of a lull here actually. Believe it or not, the wind is not blowing as vigorously as it has been. Okay, all right, all right. Look pretty good. Let's see if we can zoom in here. And let's see, nice looking uh, 10 there from Jackson. Looks like a nine from Jack. Jack's at full draw right now. Actually, they're both at full draw. Jackson got a nine. Jack's got a nine. I would say uh, Jackson's probably up by one point now. Um, we, we shall see. All right, back to the full view. Sun's coming back out now, but wind is wind has died down. Well. They didn't act like the wind died down, though. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Uh, Jack doesn't look particularly thrilled. Uh, we'll, we'll zoom in and see what we can see down here. All right. Looks like looks like a looks like a ten nine eight for Jackson and a. A 10, might be a 10.99 for Jack. Jack might have uh, taken this and gotten himself some two, some, uh, some set points. Hopefully two set points. Uh, you know, a tie wouldn't be terrible, but uh, to keep this more interesting and everybody in the game, uh, Jack Williams really needs to uh, have won this one. Get, get it to 2-2 and everything's all tied up. But we're going to see. We're going to see. Let's see. What other archers do we have shooting right now? Yeah, we got we got Justin Newish uh, versus Seth McWerther. Um, we got uh, Landon Richardson versus, versus Kenneth uh, Downey. Um, uh, uh, Gupta versus uh, Jacob Wookie. Pretty cool. Let's uh, zoom in to Jack and Jackson. Let's see what we got going on. It's uh, 11 o'clock now and. Arizona. So we started earlier this morning. Started at uh, 8 o'clock. All right, we're pulling some arrows. 2-2. Two, two. Look at that. All tied up. This is great. Um, kind of reset to the status status quo here. So we'll see uh, where it goes from there. These two gentlemen are going to keep it interesting for us. Maybe we'll uh, go all the way out to a one-arrow shoot-off. Never know. But the wind itself is still blowing. But if you ever need target flags, wind socks, scoreboards, or target pins for your 
uh, event, Short Shot Archery has you covered. We also make uh, timing flags so that you can run tournaments uh, in areas that you may not have electric. So we have uh, nice big uh, flags and you can use them as uh, timing flags to give your archers uh, you know, when to start, when they got 30 seconds, and when to stop shooting at your local tournaments. So check all these things out at uh, SureShotArchery.com. <laughs> all right jackets are coming off it's time to shoot arrows again the archery version of the gloves coming off <laughs> no. uh, let's see all right now uh it's uh, it's time to start uh this next end see what happens It's getting real, real bright again. Let's see if we can't make it a little, uh, a little bit darker. All right, Jack's still at full draw. Boom. Takes a shot. Jackson, he's sitting there. He's waiting. He's waiting on that wind. He's probably looking at, I don't know, maybe the velocity from the big flags. He might be looking at those black. Uh, little blade flags back well, not little blade flag big blade flags back there there's a whole bunch of different cues they use uh, they might even be looking at um, the very small wind socks way in the back on the back wall that might be too far away who knows but uh, a lot of these top archers find different cues to help pinpoint uh, you know where they want to aim off based on on how much you know that particular you know, wind reading device is moving. Most of them don't usually use the target flags on top. It does give you a sense of direction, but it's very bad for, you know, telling you wind velocity. The wind socks are a little bit better at that. Uh, well, now we got a, we got a bit of a pause. Let's see uh, see if we can see what's going on. All right, Jack looks like he's a little bit to the to the right here. He's got like an eight, maybe nine and an eight. Jackson's got two low shots. One looks like an 8-9 line or low. The other one's a 7, a little bit low and to the right. So they're definitely getting, they get from blown around a little. Boom, okay, Jack gets a 10 out of that one. That was good. Uh, he needed that. And Jackson, oh, <laughs> Jackson also gets a 10. So uh, yeah, I'm keeping it interesting here. Well, this should be interesting. On, uh, seeing who, uh, who wins this. Again, without a caller, it's a little hard to see the individual, uh, you know, point values and stuff. Especially since they both shot tens on the uh, the final uh, arrow. So uh, they might be tied. Maybe they're tied. We're gonna find out though. Keep dropping the microphone. <laughs> extra, extra noise. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, looks like the clouds are rolling in again. It's it's pretty thick with clouds uh, today. Quite overcast. Sometimes the sun peeks through, and you know, I'm sure the archers appreciate it because they warm up for a little bit there. But uh, really messes with my camera <laughs> and not being consistent. All right, let's see. We're gonna do some flipping. Oh, all right, Jack. Jack took that one. Now we're at two to four. So Jackson needs to step up his game and uh, get get two set points on this next uh, match. So they're all. Uh, all tied up, but so far, uh, Jack Williams is leading. Uh, we will see, though. Let's see. 
Oh, uh, we should uh, we should check out some of the other matches though. Um, Justin and Seth's match is one to five, so Seth looks like he's uh, about to wrap this up. But you know, Justin may surprise him. You know, he's got a lot of shooting experience. You know, maybe break out the the, the double gold talent and uh, and take uh, this next set, get himself some uh, additional points. Uh, who else? Let's see. Uh, looks like another match is wrapped up. Uh, on target, it's <coughs> 43 and 44. I think it's 6-0. So some archers are already done. But you know what's not done? The wind. The wind is not done. It is never done. Just when we thought it was stopping, uh, it's kicking up more than ever. Just to keep it interesting here at Arizona Cup 2024. Let's see, another interesting match is uh, Wookie versus Gupta. Those two gentlemen are at, uh, ah, looks like 2-4. And I think uh, I think Jacob's actually leading with the with the four set points to Gupta's two. So that, that could be an interesting match. Alright, so just uh, still waiting. Uh, we got some of the judges and stuff walking back now, but it's actually the other side of the field, the compound side of the field over there that's that's holding us up. Let's see. Jason here is, is walking through, pushing things over. But, but he's got... Don't get in your way! <laughs> no. <laughs> One of the chairs blew over. Uh, anyway, back to... <laughs> back to the matches. Let's, let's zoom in on... Jackson. We'll, we'll get Jackson up close. Boom. Jackson's nice and quick on his shots. All right, let's uh, we might as well see what's going on down here. Zoom in. All right, so Jack's got a 10. Jackson, obviously, I don't see Jackson. Hmm. Uh, it might be a high nine. But uh, a little bit of waiting again with the wind. Mm. Boom. All right. Jax is already done. Got Jack at full draw. Oh, some clapping. Could be a good thing. Oh, Jack's parents are clapping. Could be a very good thing. Oh, okay, so Jack really, he really uh, closed this one up. It looks like he, looks like he thirtyed it. Yeah, he's gonna be a happy guy. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, where's the, where's the, where's the big Jack Williams a smile here? Uh, he was pretty, he was pretty happy. Uh, uh, he put it away. But <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> They're having a good time. Um, but it looks like, it looks like uh, Jack Williams is gonna win this match against Jackson. So. I'm very good. We'll see uh, where it goes from there. <laughs> we'll still wait though for the official uh, score and stuff when, when, the, when the two of them get down there and we actually see it for real. But it looks quite promising for Jack. And Jackson's is not that bad. He's got an eight though that's out there that's not gonna help him and he's got two nines. And Jack's definitely got one ten and at minimum two nines. So Jack's gonna take this without a doubt. Still good shooting from both of these gentlemen. Uh, you know, some tricky wind out there. 
the, the sun going in and out with the clouds is uh, definitely a challenge too. But more importantly, even more importantly, while we wait for that update, we have to look at what Jason is eating. You know, he knocked over some chairs to, to get this food. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and classic. He's got, he's got the signature S Southern California look. Another fun archer to shoot with here at Arizona Cup. He's out just like me, but you know, our club is ever growing at this point. There's constantly more archers joining the I'm out of the competition club. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be seeing more of him at uh, Gator Cup in May. But uh, right now he's just going to enjoy his quesadilla. All right, let's uh, let's see what Jack and, and Jackson are up to. I want to see some official flipboarding here. I want I want to see a two to six so that I know, and then we can sign off until the next match. Is he going to flip the flippers? And flipboards are available in um, white uh, flippers or yellow flippers like you see down there at shortshotarchery.com. Uh, it's a great way to uh, you know, make your local tournament more uh, professional looking to match the USAD events. Or to you know even use it as a, a training tool to give yourself pressure. You know every single end you can update the score, um, and you know kind to kind of you know apply pressure to yourself when you're training at home because you got to look at that score you just shot and you want to beat it. So just a thing to think of. But there you go. That wraps up uh, this this quarter uh, final right here. We're gonna be heading into the semifinals and seeing who goes to. Uh, to what match so pretty cool stay tuned for the semifinals great job uh jack and jackson and uh with that thank you for watching please like and subscribe and as always happy shooting